Kim. And I'm gonna tell y'all this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna tell y'all this. This is getting on my damn nerves. And little Kim should know better. Little Kim should know fucking better. And it's like this, y'all. I just got word. stuff about how Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim was feuding. Feuding. Fighting and shit. Beefing. As they say. Beefing. Now god damn it the hell. Excuse me lord but shit. We ain't, what did y'all didn't learn the shit from back in the fucking 90's with Tupac Tupac and Biggie, I guess not. I guess it didn't fucking matter to little Kim losing her best fucking friend, Biggie Smalls. Oh, I mean, oh, I love Biggie. I love Biggie. He was my man. If he was your man, why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you come to agreement? Why didn't you be... But that was the past. Now, this is today, 2010. Why are we fucking beefing? Over the damn radio. Why the fuck is Little Kim and Nicki Minaj fighting over the radio? And I sit there and I was wondering, now when I got word of it, when I got wind of it, and I sat down and listened to the interview, I kind of grew with Nicki Minaj a little bit. Then I sat there and heard JD Kiss supporting him. And I looked at it like this, y'all. Like I said, little Kim should be honored that Nicki Minaj is doing the same damn thing because she's a fucking idol. Little Kim is an idol. And you're gonna sit there and run up, run your damn mouth on her. Now look at this picture right here. Now look at that. You see little Kim on the left. Queen B. And you see Nicki Minaj on the right. The mistress. The past and the future. And she bitches about that. Oh, you trying to be like me. You trying to be like me. You got me like me. You got Grow the fuck up. You ain't did shit. Look him. You ain't did an album in, what, a few years? And you bitching about... Nicki Minaj is trying to take your place. Bitch, get off your fat, lazy ass and do a damn CD so, man, nobody won't take your spot. Do something, man, but do a porno tape something, man. Get off your ass and do something. Instead of beefing over the damn radios on or on some damn tracks. On a damn soundtrack, whatever. I right, look, it's like this, y'all. They killed them shit. Look, if Nikki and Lil' Kim kills himself, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna boo-hoo. I'm not gonna shed a tear. The reason is, we've been through it with Tupac and Big. I don't think we need to go through Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim because that's bullshit. History repeating itself. We don't want to go through it. It seems like Lil' Kim did. Seems like Lil' Kim do since she lost Big Smoke to this shit. But when I was listening to Nicki, uh, Nicki Minaj, and she was trying to compare this, the, the situation that that was in to Lady Gaga, and she say she said like, "Oh, look at Lady Gaga, she's imitating Madonna," but Madonna didn't. Get all hissy fit and talk shit. I was like, you know what? She got a point. I said, so she's trying to, she's actually pulling off Lady, uh, Lady Gaga's actually imitating Cher and Madonna. So, yeah, I agree with her on that. That Cher, Cher gave her, gave Lady Gaga a hug on an award ceremony. And what the, uh, what is it? MTV Music Awards. She had hugged Lady Gaga and said, I love you. Before that was Lady Gaga, that was she. Yeah, and I was like, okay, she's imitating you. She's imitating you, Cher, and Madonna, but that ain't mad at it. But 
like what I got to say, you might a good comment.